Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and about and continue leveling. Uh, we need to get to level 20 so that we can get to tier 3 and get some of the more advanced stuff. We also need to start thinking about a place to live, uh, a permanent place to live, uh, because I don't want to stay in this cave forever. Uh, I keep getting pneumonia and I keep having to drink the antibiotics to fix it, and it's just a big pain in the keister. Um, so let's fill up our water there, and uh, I think we're about ready to set out. Looks like I have a couple things we can uh, fully repair first. I did go out and just mined up a little bit of stone overnight. It's very risky doing that, but I just hate sitting in here and not doing anything. You know, it's uh, it sucks. Uh, so let's go ahead and repair that, and then we need to be in the anvil to repair the iron tools. And we got, that. looks like that axe is already in good shape. All right, so for food, I have, uh, we've got fatty T-bones there. So let's eat this last piece of white meat. Uh, we have plenty of bread and we have uh, a decent amount of creamed corn, but it, unfortunately it doesn't last very long because, you know, we don't have a way to refrigerate it yet. We will take care of that later as mentioned. Okay, so I have some backup bacon, too, if we need it for any reason. Let's go ahead and put this in there and that in there. And I think we are good to set out. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we got deer, it looks like, that are caught up on there. So yesterday, yesterday for me anyways, um, we got all the way up to this area. We found a really nice cave. Um, right here in the corner of N8. I think what we'll do is maybe work our way out through here and go, you know, if we if we go just to the entrance, oh crap, if we go just to the entrance of the snow biome, we can pick ice up and then we could actually get an ice box. But I'm not sure I want to do that in the cave. Of course, there's no reason not to, I suppose, because that way we can keep our cream corn and stuff from spoiling so quickly. So maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, um, let's head on out. So where are we at? We're about a third of the way into level 16. So it won't be too much longer before we hit 20. And then we should be good. Um, we oh, let's get rid of this pneumonia. Um, we're doing pretty good, you know, I'm I'm confident, I'm cautiously confident, you know, that we can start going out and doing stuff now that we're armored and a little bit better geared. But we don't want to get cocky, though, because we could still get our butts handed to us. You know, most of the time when I play these types of survival games, uh, and I start out on the really hard settings, you you know, you eventually get to a point where... It, you know, you're, you're fine, and, and you just play the game normally because you can handle it. But it's just these early, very early situations that are not so good. All right, we got a bear over there. Um, we're a bit far away from the cave to draw him over. We could try and just take him out in the open using the little dodge technique. But we... We need um, room to maneuver if we're gonna if we're gonna do that. Um, oh, looks like he's already got a bead on us, or he almost did. This is oh shoot, he's getting close. Now this is just not a good place to do that. If we if we pulled him down into here, we could probably take him down here as long as we don't run into any other nasties along the way. I've seen a jaguar down in this little open area more than once. Um, so as long as it's clear, we could probably deal with the bear over here. That's a buffalo. Alright, it seems to be reasonably clear. 
The other thing we could do is try to avoid the bear, but it's always good to kill him because of the XP. And it removes him, not that that matters a whole lot because another one's just going to spawn. <laughs> removes him for a little, a little while anyway. Alright, where did he go? It was right up on the path that I wanted to take. Let's just listen. Listen for him for a moment. Last place I saw him was right up on that path there. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's just keep moving. I don't want to, I want to maximize our time today. And, you know, be back by nightfall, so. I do not see him. Okay, he must have, he probably moved up into those trees a little more, or went down that way. So let's just keep moving here, but be alert. We'll walk up through this little draw here. I think I do hear him up there. Let's turn our torch off for now. I do have a backup torch, right? Uh, yes, I do. All right, let's look at our map. Yeah, we pretty much... Here, I'm just going to put a marker. So we can use the compass to know what that we're on the right heading. That is a jack. Okay. Move on. It's always a good day when you can go hand to hand with the Jaguar and not get a deep wound in the process or even a bleed wound. So this is new territory. We haven't been over here yet. And I'm still seeing lots of wheat around, but none of the other normal vegetables. I'm wondering if that's a mistake. Like, why wouldn't they have pumpkins and watermelon and carrots and all the stuff that you normally find in the forest biome in this game? Doesn't seem to make sense to me. There's a moa. Unless they didn't put it over here just to make this area harder, which definitely it does. Bye. Couple small degrees, anyway. <coughs> As we approach the the polar biome, we do need to be extra cautious of polar bears. But usually, they'll announce their presence if they're in the area. They have kind of a Almost a mewling sound, for lack of a better way of describing it. So this is actually going down. There's a Komodo. Let's skirt around him. Oh, it's just the bird. Man, I swear those birds, the flapping sound that the bird's wings make sounds just like footsteps. It's thrown me for a loop more than once. You know, we should probably hit, be staying closer to the edge of the mountain so we can look for caves too. We'll go along that edge of the mountain on the way back. Let's 
take a drink. That sounded like an elephant. Or maybe a mammoth? I don't know. Alright. Do we have any caves over here? Does not look like it. Go down through here. Oh, what? So this is considered part of the polar biome? Well, we're right on the edge of it, I suppose. We're already turning frosty. Well, it's because they have an Arctic wind storm going on. Of course they do. We have a little bit of cold protection with this leather armor, but not not what we need, but um, you know, so we can't we can't spend a lot of time in it, of course. But if we could pop in and grab some ice without getting et. That's the important part, not getting et. Hmm. That's really weird. It's like there's just a little bit of polar biome that comes over through the mountains there. Oh, wait a second. That's showing directly behind. Did I just get turned around or something? Or can we not get to the polar biome through here? Well, that's interesting if that's the case. Unless there's a cave that we can go through. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. Right? That's interesting. Okay, let's go back over here for a second and look around. Is there a cave that we missed? We're definitely on the outskirts of the polar biome. This almost reminds me of that that mission that you had to do where you had to blow up the there was an avalanche and you had I think that, in fact I think that's what it was called was avalanche you see this is not mineable stone so I can't like burrow through here hmm all right well maybe we won't be going into the arctic biome today to get ice We got a thunderstorm on the on this side and an arctic storm on that side. Well, all right. That uh, that changes things. Um I should probably burrow into a a boulder until this storm gets over. Unless we can find a cave really quick. Let's run down through here. It's not burrowable. Oh, here we go. We got a cave. Okay, nice. It's good to find a cave, anyways. All right, we are out of the weather. Since we're in here, we might as well might load up on some iron. It's really heavy. These are two kilograms each. You'd think the bones would be heavier, but I guess we don't have that many of them. All right, well, while I'm waiting for the storm to abate, I will just do a little bit of mining. And uh, I will bring you guys back when the storm is done, and we'll go from there.
crap, man. Got a crap ton of worms in here. Two applications of poison and parasite. Yeah, yes. This is actually a lot larger cave than I thought it was. Okay, let's replenish our food. For Pete's sake. You know what? I need to carry antibiotics, more antibiotics with me. I just took one to take when we left the cave, but I didn't consider having to shelter in another one, and now we have pneumonia again and no way to take care of it. Yeah, yes. This is a nice sized cave, though. We'll be able to pull some decent ore out of here. Moto. All right, we are just a bit heavy now, so why don't we let's get rid of this stringy meat and get rid of this. And it sounds like we're, there's a bear outside. I'll drop a couple of those too, and maybe the fur, just because I have quite a bit of that stuff already. <clears throat> okay. So, do we get to fight a bear with pneumonia and a parasite? That's going to be fun. Okay, let's head out. What time is it? It's 12.59, so we still have some time. There's a bear off that way, and we saw a Komodo over here. I don't want to engage the bear with the Komodo in the area, because then it'll attack us too. Here comes another Komodo. Okay, let's get rid of these carcasses before something else comes in. Um, I'm just going to take my arrows. Well... I guess we have to loot the whole thing to, to get rid of them. Plus, we could use the bones anyway. Jaguar. Stuck Jaguar. Alright, he gave us a bleed. That's not too bad. We can handle that. sake what are they just spawning out of thin air I think they are <laughs> that's probably a spawn point for them all right more XP for us all right we've got to get rid of we're gonna get rid of the hide one of those, one of those, and uh, 
Let's try that. Okay, we, let's get this other one butchered before another jaguar spawns right in front of our face. Case in point. Alright, well we got a level and another wound. Should probably get the heck out of here. Find it hard to believe that uh, those jaguars all came in. I think they're spawning right over in that area. Drop that, drop that, drop this. Um, how are we doing? We still have 200 minutes, or seconds rather, on our thingamadoodle. Uh, we better make some more bandages. And maybe a suture kit too. Just want to have those on hand. Have a spare torch on hand, and then a few more of those. Okay, let's get rolling. So, it, it sort of looks like you can get into the Arctic from here, but obviously you can't. So how do we even get out of this biome then? I wonder if there's a cave that goes into the desert. We're going to have to investigate that. Because there was no apparent way to get to get out of here uh, that I could see. There might be a big cave that leads out. And we just haven't found it. I don't know. There's There's got to be a way to get out of here, though. You can't, you know, how, how else would you get out of here, you know? Jaguar. Stay up against... Yep, there he is right there. Ooh, our knife is... I'm not ready to break. arrow right there. Another jaguar coming in. Coming in so you can go down. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You know, we should probably make a bone knife because I need my iron knife for combat. Need two pieces of wood. Let's make a couple of those. Drop the wood because it's just too heavy. There's a wolf stealing our kill. Okay, we'll use the bone knives for skinning. Oh good, our pneumonia wore off. That is a good thing. Alright, let's move. Oh, Jaguar right there. He ate the skin off that dude. Oh, we weren't supposed to use this knife, darn it. 
You know, iron knives are not that expensive. I should just make another one. Okay. We are heavy. Sort by weight. Don't really want to throw away the ore. We can definitely throw this out. Um, let me throw this out. That gets us just a, a little bit under. Okay. Let's go. Let's repair this. I'm going to refresh my food here just so if we get into combat, I don't have to worry about that. Alright, I don't want to get too close to that moa. They will attack you if you get up in their business. We just came up through there. Hmm. Yep. All right. Well, I guess what we'll do on our next expedition then is we will go. Uh, we'll go over here and look around to see if there's some kind of route out of here into this desert biome. That still surprises me that there isn't a way out of there, though. Hmm. I might have to look into that. Maybe there is a, a cave or something. It was definitely was not my intention to spend this entire Season 2 in the Ring Lake biome. <laughs> this is just our starting point. So... I think this is where that bear was before, up here somewhere. wouldn't be a, a bad place to fight a bear if we had to. And I saw something over there. Okay. Let's go down this way. Carefully go down this way. Uh, is that a pig? Oh, you know what we need to do? <clears throat> we need to make the pot belly stove. Then we could maybe go do a little bit of fishing and make some fish. Well, no, we can't because I can't find any. I can't find any daggone uh, soybeans. We need that. So that is not going to work. It's not. I don't know. We could make crispy fried bacon in the potbelly stove, which is just a better version of the bacon. I'm trying to think what else we could make in there right now, because, you know, if we can't really utilize it, there's no point in spending points on it until we can. Okay, well, let's go back in here. What time is it? 16.52. Not a whole lot of time left. Oh, I knew you were going to do that as soon as I open that. You doity rant. Okay. We need to carry at least two of these with us from now on. And let's go into here. We'll turn all this meat into animal fat. I'm going to save another stack of iron ore. Because once we get... 
Here, let's go look at that talent. Combat. Once we get this maxed out, then we can make arrows that will have 10 per they'll have deadly three alterations, so basically 10% projectile damage. So I'm not gonna make any new arrows until we can get this to level three. Yeah, this immobilized target is really useful as well. Okay, so we have seven points here. I do want to... Um, we're going to need the hammer, probably the drying rack. I kind of like the wood torch, but it's not that much better than just the cheap one, and the cheap one is so easy to make. Oh, is that a, a hog? No, it's a deer. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's just, uh, like I said before, let's just sit on these points. I was going to, if we could, would have been able to get a whole device, I would have done the ice box. But here again, uh, I just don't want to do anything until we can actually start utilizing it. And I do need to prioritize getting a, us an actual base going here pretty quickly. I always have to decide where we're going to do that. We might, What I think what we'll do is this. I think we'll stay in the cave till we hit level 20, or, or more specifically till we get to tier 3. So we can get into steel and maybe even getting a shotgun going. And then at that point, you know, then we'll probably start looking for our our more permanent base, or at least something better than a cave. But the plan for tomorrow is going to be that we're going to venture into here and see if there's some way out of here, because I think I've pretty much been all the way around here. I don't remember seeing anything that looked like a, a passage type of cave. Like the really big caves that don't have worms in them, but they can move you to a different biome kind of cave. I don't know if I've been down in here, so we could maybe do a little more exploration over here too. But the plan will be to, you know, come up through here and investigate all of this along here. You know, so we know, are we in fact trapped here? Um... So, that is the plan. All right, you guys. Well, it's getting too dark for me to do much of anything else. I might go cut some trees or mine some more stone or something. And um, I will bring you guys back in the next episode tomorrow morning. And we'll set off bright and early and go investigate the that last area that we haven't been in yet. So, with that, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.